If you're like me, then you like to collect free games with the Epic Game Store, GOG, and Prime Gaming. Except for there's no real good way to play it on the Steam Deck, except for Heroic Games Launcher. I'm going to show you how to get this and play your games on the Steam Deck. So to start, you're going to want to go ahead and press the Steam button, go to power, and we're going to switch over to the desktop mode. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. I appreciate it a lot. Subscribe for more videos like this. And if you happen to have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Once you're on the desktop, we're going to go ahead and navigate to the bottom left to the Discover tab, the Software Center. And we're going to look for the Heroic Games Launcher. So you just go up here, search for Heroic Game Launcher. I already have it installed and that's right here. So this is what it should look like. So Heroic Games Launcher, just go ahead and search that, find it, download and install it. And then once it's installed, go ahead and launch it. Once you launch it, it should not pop up like this, but it might ask you to log into your different services. So I'm already logged into all three. We have the Epic Game Store, GOG, and Prime Gaming. Now, before you get installing anything, there are a couple things that you need to do. So head over into settings. You're gonna scroll down until you see this list here, and you're gonna wanna make sure that minimize heroic after game launch is clicked. For some reason, when this is not clicked, the controls on the Steam Deck just don't work too well with the game itself it just thinks that you're in mouse and keyboard for some reason i was having problems with redacted and it wasn't working uh, i looked up a fix for that and they recommended making sure that this was selected and since then it's worked perfectly fine so make sure to go ahead and do that if you're actually having that problem another thing is the wine manager right here go ahead and click on that and just make sure that you have the latest one installed so go ahead and just install it and then Proton GE up top, make sure you have the latest one installed there as well. The launcher itself actually does a pretty good job of selecting which one you need. And if you don't happen to have it, it knows which one to select. Uh, this just helps the game run. And if you don't have the proper one installed, the launcher will just select whatever it thinks is best in order to get the game up and running. But just make sure that you do have the latest ones installed. I've had no issues with the game running so far. The launcher seems to know what it needs to do. Once you're logged into your different services, up on top right here where it says library, you're gonna click that, and this is where all the games that you own across all three accounts are going to appear. So I have Sifu already installed. As you see here, it's from my Epic Game Store account. You have Young Souls from Amazon. And if I scroll down, I have like Tomb Raider from GOG, and it's gonna show you all the games that I actually own. Also, another thing is if you click on certain games, it will show you if it's Steam Deck compatible, which is a nice little feature. Now, in order to get this on your gaming screen, we're gonna go ahead and just close this out. Make sure we close this out as well. And we're gonna go down to the bottom left. We're gonna clip on the application launcher. I'm gonna go to all applications and I'm gonna look for my heroic game launcher. We're gonna hit the left trigger and just press add to Steam. This is going to add it to our Steam library list so that when we're in gaming mode on the handheld itself, it actually appears on our library. So we're back into the gaming desktop. We're going to go and press the Steam button, go to our library, and then non-Steam games up top, and it should be here. Now, it's not going to show you the icon that I have here. It's because I'm using something called the Decky Loader, which is a add-on for the Steam Deck. It's free, it's easy to install, but I have a add-on that allows me to change the thumbnail of my games. So if I go ahead and right click or use the left trigger, I have here change artwork, and I can actually change this artwork to a selection of different artworks that are available through this app. So the one I selected is the one I like, uh, but for you, it's going to show up as a gray box and it's not really going to show anything. It's just going to say uh, heroic game launcher when you click on it like this. So that's how you get this up and running. This is how you play your Epic Game Store games as well as your GOG and Prime Gaming on your Steam Deck. Of course, if you don't happen to have these accounts, make sure to go ahead and just make them. They give out free games all the time. Sifu is free. Epic Game Store did an entire week of free games. GOG is constantly giving out free games. And if you happen to have an Amazon Prime account, make sure to go ahead and check that out as well. They give out free games all the time. Definitely a must check out for yourself. Not sponsored, no ad. If this helped you out, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. I appreciate it a lot. Subscribe for more videos like this. And if you happen to have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one.